the fight scene. Where two or more characters try to beat the heck out of each other. The subject is featured widely in brick films and live action movies. People love watching the overall awesomeness of a well choreographed fight. But what makes a fight scene enjoyable or awesome? There are several Lego fight scene animations on YouTube, and I'm sure just about every animator has sat down at some point and said, you know what, today I'm going to make a Lego fight scene. There are tons of fantastic Lego fight scenes on YouTube, but the majority of them are just two Lego minifigures punching each other. Now while there's nothing wrong with this, it does get very boring very fast. You want to make a fight scene that's interesting, something that people will enjoy watching and come back to see more. So, how do you make a LEGO fight scene that's interesting and enjoyable? Something that people will come back to your channel to see more of. Every time you sit down to make a fight scene, make something that hasn't been made before, something that you've never made, and something that other people have never seen. If you take a look at the Mandalorian vs. Boba Fett video I made a while back, what's different about this fight scene than other LEGO fight scenes? Well, for one, it has the movable head animation, and it also has the jetpack. These two things aren't featured very much in brick films, so that sets this fight scene apart from others. It has things in it that people haven't seen or have seen very little of, which makes this fight scene more interesting and memorable. So that's the great thing about animating with LEGO. You have just about no limits. So you can make just about anything you want. So why make a fight scene where it's just two minifigures punching each other when you could make a guy versus sharks? Literally anything. Usually the more unrealistic it is, the more fun it is for the viewer to watch because it's something new that they've never seen before. That's one of the reasons why Edbound is such an enjoyable channel. Not only does he have mind-blowing awesome fight scenes, but he makes stuff that's new, things that haven't been seen before. People will definitely watch something they've never seen than something they've already seen several times. So, next time you sit down to make a video, come up with the most insane thing you can think of and then make it. Because no matter how insane the idea is, you can still do it. I think brick filmers look at their idea and think, I can't do this. But you can do it. You can say your camera isn't very good quality, or you can't do masking, or your set is too small. Then just be creative. That's one of the biggest things about making brick films, is being creative. You're already trying to tell a story using plastic. So, don't sit down and say you can't do it, because you can do it. Every big YouTuber has started from the bottom and moved up to the top. Because they've taken those crazy ideas and made them into videos that you want to watch. And so can you. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Maybe you got some inspiration, some ideas. I had a lot of fun making this, so the possibility of more tutorials is very high. Um, this probably wasn't the fight scene tutorial you were expecting. I know you guys want to know how to make like an actual fight scene like kicks punches blocks all that fun jazz but um just check out the description on reasons why i didn't do that and thanks for watching and see you guys next time